Okay, it appears I don't have any kind of incriminating evidence, so we should be good to go. So, <clears throat> things we're working on. You know, real good hook here. Uh, fixing things. Uh, we're in the very, very final stages of the 5020 project. So, um, that means I need to fix uh, some, some oddities. Because this thing is really just the thing that I hate right now, which is... Um, it's a screenshot monster, and that's about it. So as you can see, we have the Wheatland air cleaner cover thing just kind of going absolutely nuts. So we need to take a look at our XML and this guy. So um, what, we, what we're going to look at here is I did get rid of the second engine choice. I thought that that was the better thing to do, so we don't need that anymore. Uh, and in deleting that, we changed around a bunch of things. <laughs> so basically, everything that had a 3 is now a 2. And we need to reflect that in our base here. So, do, 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 do. where is everything? Design configurations. So. Two one five six. It's going to be our front weight. So we go here, here, and tractor options. No, not that. Not that. Front weight, single slab, and stacked weight. So two one two zero two six is what they currently are. So two zero two six two or two zero two seven. So we can save that. And then we just repeat this down the line. And this should take care of that first small issue because if I go and look at the uh, current thing it's going to be pretty bad pretty pretty bad hey eco hey WDSK and hi Dave how are you guys doing so we're gonna do that here and if I do a GSV and do a reload oh it's bad oh it's bad bad Okay. Oh. I've messed up the whole thing. The whole mod is <clears throat> the whole mod is a little a little biffed. So each one of these reds is what we need to fix. So we're just gonna run down through here. Alright, so we got the design configuration done. This XML does have to change, but it's really just gonna be a bunch of, of title work. So we need to work on this guy now. Vehicle configurations. So we'll start at the top at 2150. 21, 215. What was this called? Row crop fenders is what it's looking for. So 202, 202, 2105, 2150. Why is that being a thing? This is where I need to go through and name a lot of things. Uh, keeping everything organized is really, really hard uh, whenever we run into stuff like this. So I need to go down with you for a minute. Because what it's done is I haven't changed anything in this main stack. So everything from JD, like everything in this stack, um, should be the same. What I've changed is is everything inside the tractor stack. And th the main reason for that was, well, the stack stack. Um, that is its own thing. We don't need that. Don't need this. I'm gonna let Idiot out, cause he's just gonna be a pain in the butt today. Come on, you big dumb. Come here, stupid. There you go. Get on the floor. Play. 
stop banging the cage every time I start speaking about anything. <sighs> okay, so I need to go through and figure out what all's broke. So let's get out of here. And we'll go to P first. And we'll go here. And then the medium tractor. Okay, so what, what works? Uh, tire selection seems to work, so that's fine. Oh. Um, that's broke. Okay. So... Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's slightly busted, isn't it? Okay, easy, easy enough, easy enough. Uh, let's go back here. So, these are the the choices here. So we have the row crop fenders, two o two o, wheat link and fig, two o two one, two three, four, yada, yada, yada. So everything outside of the two weights is an option for a cab. Okay, so our very first option ha we have here that is visibly active true should be the fenders. So it's 2020 is what this should be. And that should be everything on there yes okay so we need to do a visibly inactive so two o two zero and that'll be the same on all of these so many options I mean, never to do a tractor with this many options again, thanks. And that's something I've... Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Um, that's something I have explained a few other times. Is... On this tractor, the way things are, are set up and the way it works, um, it's just too much for, like, my very, very first mod. So let's uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, we're gonna go to add weight, stack weight. Okay, stack weights works because we made it work. Row crop, wheatland is not there. Forestry is that. Okay. So now I just need to change the rest of everything. So one. Two, three, four, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everything should be the same. So. And it's not that I got rid of things, but I want the XML to be fairly easy to read um, because I am passing this thing off to a current um, modder that has agreed to help. And they will be listed in the credits as well. So um, after it's done, we'll go through all of the things. So that's that. And then now we just got to change uh, everything here. Whoa, whoa. And this is what we want to happen is if something were to change, it just needs to be structured in a way that's extremely easy to figure out what went wrong. Okay, 
Let's do a reload here. Okay, well, we're wrong. So we currently have all of the options selected. That's interesting. Okay. So why are you... Why is everything on Rokurab? This works. That works. That works. Umbrella rops. So everything's just on top here. Wonder why. Oh. That's why. There we go. Now this should work. So we go back out. Hey, look at there. We're making progress now. And we will be going through and adding um, some more options that you guys have not seen yet. So we got our Wheatlands. We got the Row Crop, Wheatland, the Forestry Cab, the Crenlo Cab, the Henniker, the Umbrella, and the Rops. Okay, all that works. How about this? That surprisingly still works. Okay. Front loader attacher? Of course not. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to see that. Um, yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff I don't want you guys to, to see right now. So, that still hides everything. All right. All right, so design configurations is done. So we can go ahead and clean that down. Wheels should be okay. Um, drivable? Steering wheel is 030. Oh, I need to change the. Is it interable? Right foot, left. Where's the chair? Cameras is fine. Somewhere here is main body component. It's going to be the seat. And the seat is this guy. And we want them to be findable. So we copy this here. Control F, Control V, Enter. Oh no, it's not there. Um, two, oh, three. What would it have been before? Two, oh, four? Five? Oh, okay. You're just going to be a pain, pain in the butt. All right. Um, hmm. Where is this at? Where is this at? All that is true. All that is done. Interval. Character node 2167 is this guy. Two zero three seven zero and two zero zero three seven zero. Okay, save this. Go back into here, back all the way out. Okay, the list is getting smaller very, very quickly. Where's our last reload? There's like hundreds of lights and, and everything else. And that's probably going to be what we're going to be working on a little bit today. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Oh, hello. Well, hi, little fella. Ain't you just, uh... You're, you're an interesting guy, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> uh, air cleaner. Air cleaner. So... Close this air cleaner. What part is it? The screen. So apparently, this is being interacted with something. Exhaust. <laughs> the exhaust flap. Okay. So, exhaust flap is now. This guy? Yeah. So if we change that to this, and then save, 
I bet ya. Hey, look at that. Okay, that worked. Next. <laughs> Next is lights. So inside of the fenders here, we have the lights themselves. So each one of these should be under the uh, light thing. So lights, oh boy. Two O two O two O O. Uh huh. You don't say. So these are default lights. Um, default lights and castable lights are two different things. The default lights are the light that emits a particle. Um, not the emitter for the light. It's not like the light itself. It is the the character of the light um it's nothing nothing you know, like really interesting at all so i want to say it's how many digits is this three zeros one two three four five six one two three four five Six, so it's a step up is this guy. Okay, so we'll do this. So we'll copy this guy. And then the last digit changes. So I should be good to go, because there's six in this, right? Yeah. V, 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 four, Five, six. Okay. So we do O, then one, two, three, four, five. Then we save. Come back in here. Oh, I've made it bad. I've made it mad, mad. Uh, entry two seventy eight fifty six for object and method has XML property. I don't know what that means. Uh, line 939 is our error. 939 is our error. Light types. Oh, we deleted that. So save that again. Hey, look at there. I bet my lights work. Do they work in rhythm? One. Two and three. There we go. Easy, easy. Okay. Where's my test plow? So the sounds are going to be broken too. We'll get into fixing that. We might even get into making new sounds today as well. But uh, yeah, I think this is the first time you guys have seen this model of the tractor. Uh, this is the completely updated one, uh, not the one that I use in the series. So, okay, that worked. Like, first go. So, we're going pretty good there. I do see a, an, a problem here. Uh, the pickup hitch is a different color, so we need to fix that, too. Uh, so, we can do collapse all. Go back into here. And we'll find these guys. I don't think they have shadow. Yeah, no shadows on that or tangent. Okay. And then upper link. Upper link, I said. Upper link. Upper link. Come on. There we go. These guys didn't have it either. And they'll have to have that for texturing. So if we go back in here again. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Way better. Uh, I need the main part too. So, main part. It's this guy. Each one of these needs to have their parts 
done. So, we'll save that. Why is it not... It's like so long for the thing to switch over for you guys. I just now noticed that. I'm sorry. That's so weird. So. Do reload again. Okay. So somewhere, there we go, I have this guy. I've changed the tire sizes around too. So it looks a little different. Um, looks like I need to change the duels up too. So we can do that really quick. So if we go back into here and we go to rear wheels, um, we're looking for the dual schematic, okay? So... Uh, it's pulling the tire from here. We want the tire to be pulled from this one because this is our main tire. So we just change that over. And it's still pulling that. So it needs to be a 16 by 38 now. We lost a few dozen inches. And we want this to be 30, 36. Okay. So whenever I reload this, yeah, so we get that. Now, I'm a little disappointed in the height of the um, the fenders versus the tires, but I'm not going to worry about it at this point. Uh, I'm kind of done, done working on it. But these, if I've done this right, should line up fairly well. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not shooting for perfect. But they should go... Maybe I put on the wrong width. Yeah, they they line up pretty well with the uh, um, with the rows, so that works out pretty good. Also, uh, I can probably go narrower on this rim. So we go back to this and look: 16, 16, 36. Outer rim. Why does it work on one but not the other? That's interesting. Is it like this on both? That's weird. Why would it be different on the outside versus the inside? Wheels, rims, five, zero. 5-1, da-da-da-da-da, outer rim, ACB, C60, 30-36, tire is that, 38-5-1-1, no left, no right, yeah, all that works, so why is that wrong? So we need to go in here and fix that. So, what we're going to be looking at now is uh, if we go into wheels, we're looking for... I need to change up this whole thing. This is horrible. Do we have weights on these? No. So, we're running no weights. So, three rib duels. What's happened here? Translation is active. Okay, that's fine. All that's good. All this is good. Wheels. Offsets, fine. All that should be good. I don't know what the difference is here. One, five, oh, one. Okay, let's just try changing it. Like that seems not the correct way to do this. Definitely pulled it in, didn't it? I wonder if I can do two things at one time. Yes, this is coming to all platforms as long as it can pass uh, pass checks. 
Okay, it's changing the scale. Why is it changing scale on the outer? I'm not too fussed about it, but that's kind of weird. Uh, let me change something up for you guys here. Can I just do this guy at the same time? So go like this. Okay. All right. So if I come into the into the XML, all I gotta do is just downsize it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know why that's different. That's kind of weird. I feel like I need to reload something else. So let's reload all store items. I mean, it looks right. The size looks correct. Actually, no. The size is not correct. Why is it scaled? Ooh. What's going on here? Width and diameter. Width and diameter. Uh huh. Yeah, like I say, as long as it can pass, then we'll we'll all be good. Weight here. Rim node zero thirteen eight. Yeah, that's all right. Why is it changing the size of my tire? Tire. Oh, oh, right here. Okay, so the difference. Um, so this is our this is our inside wheel. All of this. Okay, when you add the configuration and it's identified as dual. Okay, the second tire configuration is here. So what I've done is I need to change this back to 16. I need to change these values, the node left and the node right, instead of being uh, one zero, it needs to be three zero, and that calls um, where the tire is in the game file. So that, yes, okay, that fixed that, yay. Okay. Now, let's just pull up here. So, as you guys can see, the stance is pretty square right now. Um, the front's a little high. I'm not exactly sure why it looks like it's floating almost. Okay, so let's go to wide front three. So here, wheels. Wide front three, yeah. Um, let's try a five three. Okay, this is the physics radius. And what that does yeah, okay, so that's that's a little low. Um, that changes the area around the tire that sees the, the contact. Okay, so we're just going to fiddle with this a little bit. Until we get uh, kind of where we want it. Because I want it to be a little squish. That's in the ground still, so five. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, that's that's it pretty well. So it's touching the ground, it's squishing in the ground, so we should be good. Alright. Um So, you guys have not seen Big Chungus. Uh, this is the new tire setup for the Kinsey, which we need to fix. So, let's go here, and we're just jumping around. I, I just want to do a bunch of different things. So, we're going to Engine Choices, okay, and this is 2040. So, if we go into here, and this is how you do... Uh, different engine choices per um, per vehicle. Okay, 
Uh, I'll also, we're going to stay here for a second so you guys can kind of understand what's going on for those that would like to do this. Okay. So I need to go into motorized. Okay, we're in the sound file right now. Okay. And inside of each one of these is a sound configuration. Okay. So in this one, this is the old setup. Okay. Um, if I go into here right now and I go to, I'm just going to have to buy one. It's going to be broke as all get out. Um, but if I buy this guy, this is going to look so weird. Okay. So we're in our tractor, right? Okay. It has the Kinsey sound on it. So what this is, actually, no, that did not have the Kinsey sound on it. Was I right? Kinsey. Okay. Okay. So this is this is pretty easy. All right. I like this sound file. I spent a lot of time on this one, so we're not going to delete it. The way that this works is if we are in our main deal, okay? We're in our main tractor, and we go down to motorized. Everybody knows that this tractor has a bunch of different options. And we come down here, and we look at um, the motor configuration. So we have the 8.7, which is the stock one, okay? We have... If I get the right one here, motor transmission. Okay, so we have the 87, the turbo 87, and the Kinsey Repower. Okay, I want every time that I select an engine there to be a different sound. Okay, so you don't have to run like four different trucks. Say, say you got a Peterbilt, and your Peterbilt can have a Detroit, a Cat, a Cummins, and you know, you want each one of those to have a different sound in it, right? Well, a lot of modders, what they do is they put three different track, uh, three different trucks. It'd be like P three seventy nine Cat, P three seventy nine Cummins, P three seventy nine Detroit, and each one of those would have a different sound file attributed to them. Instead of going through all that work and having a bloated store page, you can only have one. Okay, so what you do is you go, okay, this is my first motor config, so that's stock, the turbo one, and the Kenzie. There used to be a fourth one here uh, for the uh, 7.4 I pulled out of one of the other tractors. I got rid of it. It didn't fit the tractor and what I'm trying to do. So I just went and got rid of it. But I want the sound to be on the 8.7 turbo diesel. So we're going to go back into our sound file. You can see I have each one of these labeled. Um the same way. So we're going to put this to 8.7 turbo now. Okay. And this is just telling me I know what this says. So if I take this motor configuration and I just go, uh, I don't like this one anymore. And we go delete. Okay. So now, um, now we have the stock engine, which is an 87, the 87 turbo and the 8V71. So now if I did I save it? Let me save it. There we go. If I save this and then reload the tractor. If I did things right, it should sound like an 8V71. Completely different sound. Okay. Yay. That part's done. Easy. So that's how you add multiple sounds to a single engine is you layer them in just like you have your motor configuration. So if you've got a, um, like let's say you're working on a Versatile, right? The Versatile can have like a Cat 903. It can have an 8V71. It can have um, just a bunch of different engine choices, right? Um, you're going to layer those engine choices in. 
then you're going to put your sound files in the same order within one XML. So there's no separate store page. Okay, that's what we're trying to do here. So this is done. Good. Don't need that anymore. Now we just need to fix the engine itself. <sighs> this is going to take a second because I don't remember what each one of these are. So the big thing here is this. So if you do, um, I can't hide this yet because I'm going to have to unhide it again. Okay, so I need to know what each one of these is. So I have my, my Ford exhaust, my hood, and my Donaldson filter for my 8V71. Each one of these is, is listed on a row. And there will be one more option for the 8V71. It's just an add-on. It's a turbo. There's another hood for that, but it's out of the scale for this. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. It's um, uh, somebody showed me, and I'm like, okay, I got to let everybody know because that was like a game changer. If you guys find the mod that this originally started, that, like, Okay, let, let, let's clear your air. Okay, restart. Time out. Time out. Time out. For those that don't know, this tractor started started as a different mod. Okay, I got mad at the hood because it looked bad, and I wanted to fix the hood. I didn't completely rebuild the tractor. Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm almost up to four hundred thousand verts on this guy. Um, this is a completely new mod that was started as a different mod. So like there's not a body panel or nothing on this thing that's exactly the same. Like nothing is the same. No part of it exists anymore. Except for one thing. And I'll show you what that one thing is. It is do 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 where are you? Cab options. This guy right here. This guy is the only thing on this entire model I have not changed. And you can tell, because it, it's horrible. It looks horrible next to the rest of the model. <laughs> so, it's, um, yeah, it's his own deal. Uh, so, we'll hide that guy. Go away, little fella. That, we're going to work on that guy, too. I want I want some, some different kind of options, too. Uh, anyway, AV71. So, Kinsey Repower is going to be your standard non-turbo... 8v71 powered uh, 5020. Wait, I gotta put my little guy. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You big idiot. Come here. Come on. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, Kuma. Come here, buddy. Stop hiding from Dad. Okay, there you go. I know you were causing trouble. Sorry, he was going to cause trouble, and I just knew it. Okay. Anyway, Kenzie eight V seventy one. What? What? A, this whole thing started because of one farmer was like, "Hey, I need some more power out of my one hundred and twenty five horsepower tractor, and the turbo just ain't cutting it either." So, they went to, I want to say his name is John Kinzenbaugh, um, of Kinsey Manufacturing. But before Kinsey Manufacturing, was like a big thing. And the guy's like, yeah, we put an AV71 in it. And you magically get 320 horsepower. Because that's what an AV71 in is. It's 320 horse. So, that's what this base engine is. Uh, then there will be a turbo version of this as well. All right. So, object no change. 2170. 2170. Oh boy. I want to say it's this. Two one seven zero. What is one? Two three. That's three. 
Hold on here. What's going on? Look at the full stack. Air cleaner. Two. Zero. Okay. Two, one. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. So the reason that this the numbers are all messed up is this stack was up here um, before the 5020. So everything that's 2, 1 is actually 2, 0. So 2, 0, 3 should be the air cleaner. 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. 203 two, what this did not I did not change around this much stuff I wonder how long this has been broken uh huh okay does the because this should be the eight seven yeah two one two zero one is the the stock engine okay two I need more screen. 201 is the stock engine. Okay? So, 0, 1, 0. Alright. That is the base engine. Now, this is going to get weird because we're probably going to break a few things. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So, we have the stock engine, then we have the turbo engine, then we have. Then we had the, the other engine that is no longer in here. And then we had the AV71. So that's why I have too many numbers. So I want this badge to also show. So 2011 is what we're going to add. Okay. So 20011 is true. So if I go here and here, oh, not in this tractor, this guy. Oh, did that work? Yes. Yes, it did. Okay, good. The, the badge shows up now. Buddy, you were just out for like an hour. Quit it. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the badge showing up. And then... False and false. So, turbo. Turbo stuff and then turbo. So we copy this. And... V. And V. This one should be a 1. Okay. Then object change 141. 141. 141. I should have named all these. This would have been a ton easier. Oh. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Okay. Let's let's go over I3D mapping, because nobody ever talks about it, but it's like really, really easy. Oh. Come here. So we'll just do a new one. Uh, this is going to take a second, but it will make things easier. So I need to figure out that I'm going to name this the 5020 engine. Okay, so we're going to copy this guy, and we're going to do that. Okay, so I change the ID of 5020 engine. I change it to be what its index path is uh, in the in the mod folder. So zero overscore two zero one zero and there it is so if we save this and then I take this guy instead of using all of this confusing mess I just change the node into this and now it starts to make more sense right so each one of these we're going to do really quick. It won't take that long and it will make things just so much easier. 
right. You don't do don't do your i three D editing. Like, okay, let's let's say you started like a brand new mod, and you knew what the components were going to be, right? Like this, I didn't know. So there's like a ton of things that I have not had listed. Like all of this, I didn't know it was going to be a thing. I should have done it, but I didn't. Um, what you do is, you know, let's say um, you're working on the front suspension of a truck, okay? And you want it to be like an active front suspension like all the, like all the cool kids do now, right? It's so much easier to go through and do that now <laughs> uh, instead of... Uh, instead of later uh so you know it's it's not oh shit uh go back like it's it's annoying to do at first um but like once you start doing it you'll never like go back it's one of those things like um just just being able to go like being able to look at this xml right like i can't tell you what these numbers are anymore I've, they've changed so many times and i should have done it first and we wouldn't be having this problem but now i can just go okay so this this badge right so if i break my mod what happens well i just go look for badge and instead of changing it in every single line where badge might be i just change the, the one line like right there and it's done <laughs> so it it is a pain um until it's like not if that makes sense just go through and name everything um that you're going to use and just just start doing it then you'll you'll thank yourself I did not mean to do that. Can we go back? <sighs> Never have a stroke, folks. It'll kill you. But yeah, like doing it now seems not good. I wish I would have done it sooner. Like the Pacific is all done. Um, and it's so much easier to navigate. Um, just cause, you know, you can just go through and and change things um, around. I think keeping keeping everything straight is the the harder part. Zero one two. So we do that. If I do this again. And also, um, doing uh, <laughs> uh, Control D, like highlight something and then hit Control D, is um, the the only way to fly. So now we know that this is turbo. Hit save here again. Then I can just come down here and copy this, and we'll change that on the way down. I think the thing I hate the most about modding is materials. Um, if you're going to be fiddling around a lot with like this stuff, um, the it's it's definitely the materials that kind of catch me up all the time. We'll go through them at some point, but yeah, they're they're a nightmare. Okay. Um, <laughs> I need an extra line here because that was not labeled correctly before. So now we have two of them. So now we have badge. Yep, yep, yep. That done, that done, that done. Oh, yeah. Uh, another thing that I learned for sure is if you're going to, um, 
if you're going to model something, model it completely out. Don't try to play with it at the same time. It has caused me so many headaches. <laughs> it's it's been an absolute nightmare trying to keep this tractor working for the um for the survival series and trying to work on it at the same time. Model something completely and then worry about the i three D. Like break it down in your components. Um, if we fire up Blender here, so uh, we go into here and I were to unhide everything right that's a lot of things okay none of this was in these um nice little collections either so it become the biggest nightmare and because i'm passing it off to somebody else i'm i'm fixing all this stuff now instead of being proactive and doing it uh doing it the first time uh, so like my main parts here, right? So what what never changes? My driver station, my steering stock, my gauges, grill, and hood ornament do not change across any of my uh, uh, any of the um, configurations, right? Okay, so what what do we do then? Uh, well, all right. So we want to run the let's run the three point rear end. Okay, well that adds in that. Okay. All's well and good. That's kind of weird. Wonder why that's like that. It's not like that in game, is it? That's weird. Am I running the cover? Oh, that's right. I went without the cover because the cover looks trash. That needs to be fixed. Um, yeah, that needs to be redone. So that cover is not supposed to be there. We'll go here and turn that guy off. There, that's that's more like it. So we know, okay, this configuration is with a three-point link. All right, well, maybe I'll want to run with no three-point. Okay, well, there's that one. So breaking it down into chunks really helps, like, without a doubt. It's one of the better things you could do is break the model down into what you know is going to be the same what you know is going to change, especially on this. I mean, how many cab options do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Not in counting the ROPS and the umbrella. Yeah, there's like five or six cabs, just cabs. Not to mention engine changes. So we have, you know, that engine, or we have this engine. And this engine has the hood and everything on it, right? Uh, plus another manifold because I'm going to add a turbo option to this. Oh yeah, like if you can if you can find something, like if you were to go on like Turbo Squid or something like that, and you found a, a model and you really really like that model, it's way easier to end game <laughs> than it is to uh, uh, than the model. I I I like modeling, but I hate it. Like at this point, my hands hurt from doing this. Any hoozle. Um, what were we doing? This guy. Okay, what all's still broke? Uh, so we go into here. What happens now? If we just... It's still the same. <laughs> okay, so we haven't got down to that yet. All right. All right, let's get you out of here. I don't need Blender open, so we're not going to even fool with that. Um, next one. 2141. 2141. What are you? I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what that was. Seven oh and six three. Oh boy. Okay, so the only thing that's true under the main one is two one six three. Two one six three. Two one six three. Is that this? Wait. 
wait. What's going on? Hold on, I gotta I gotta look at this. Something's not uh something's not meshing well in my head. Okay, so we have visibility true and true. So that's the stock engine and the badge. No turbo, no turbo exhaust manifold. No other engine. No other engine. No eight V seventy one. Okay, that makes sense. Two oh six one. Why is this being why why am I thinking about this incorrectly? Why am I thinking about this incorrectly? See, this is why we label everything. Okay, let me make sure that my exhaust and stuff is the same. Exhaust particles. 13 O oh, and 1. 13 O. Oh. One and one. Okay, that works. Oh, okay. Um, let's do those really quick. So we're just going to do this. Eight V seventy one exhaust. AV71 exhaust particles. That would be 0131. Or. No. I don't need the cube in there anymore either. 0310. 0310. Okay. Uh. Wait. That's not right. That's not right. Okay, I'll be right back. Something's weird. All right, sorry. <laughs> so thirteen O is uh, a seven exhaust. So eighty seven exhaust particles. It's gonna be our standard one here. Particles 
left and right. Okay. So we do copy this again. Do I want to do it exhaust particles left and right? Yeah. Uh, no. No, we'll leave it like that. That way I know what it's called. I know this is not the most exciting part. This is just stuff that has to be done. So, we do that. Control C. V. Try to keep it somewhat organized. Okay. So, if we do. Oh no! What did I do? Exhaust particles. Should be this guy. Yep. Okay. And then. Same for here. This does make the calls a little bit longer, but I'm not too fussed about it really. Okay. I could probably make this wider. There we go. So, that does it for the exhaust stuff. Now I just need to change it here as well. So V. V. Okay, so that should change that around. I don't know what 2.0 is. 2.0... I... Th because each one of those is false, right? And I know I have to remove these panels. So... Do I have? Yeah, okay, that works. Um, if I go back into here, so these panels need to go bye bye, right? The the side panels need to leave. So in the XML. I could have sworn. Yeah, we're hiding a ton of stuff. So we're hiding uh, those two things. Then we're hiding the hood and 2162. Yeah, the hood. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. So this guy, 5020 hood. I need to make an i3D for that because it's the hood, right? So we're going to hide uh, yeah, the hood here. And that was... I'm sorry, this is like not my cup of tea. Okay, so we know that we're hiding the hood. So let's just start with that, huh? Start with hood. So we're we're hiding the hood. Then we're going to hide the side panels. So we need those as well. Non-turbo panels. Okay. Leave me alone, please. And somebody told me that this could fail mod passing, um, having like spaces and stuff in, in names. So that's why I keep changing all that as well. Okay, so we need to do a little filler here. So copy again. This guy. Two, uh, 
three. Okay. Save there. This. Yes, I will be trying to send this directly to the mod hub. This will be at least on the PC side of the mod hub. I want it to go to consoles really, really bad. I know that there are like some really shady Brazilian made mods and that's like all that you guys get and that's absolutely horrible. So we're trying to fix that. Okay. So non-turbo panels is the next one that's going to show up. Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't do that to the rest of them. Oh, that's right. The the things all that stuff. Okay, so we'll just do that like that. The next one that's gonna show up. This is this whole stack is scuffed, like because I've changed so much stuff. So we want things to be able to be here. So we have the badge, the engine. Does that work? I did not check to see if the turbo engine worked. Okay, why is that not working? Because that should be working. No. Why are you not working? Turbo engine. Turbo manifold. This needs to be true. This needs to be false. So why did that not work? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Why don't you work? What am I doing here? Oh, I don't have it. I have it hidden. Visibility. Let's try this again. Okay, that's not working. That's weird. Those should be... Those should be working. For sure. Turbo exhaust manifold is false. Okay, let's just continue our quest here. I have broken it, like badly, and I think it's just because I'm changing so much stuff. So, let's just go to air cleaner, just right off the bat. This is going to have a lot more options than it did before, I think. So we do that. And we change this to true. Visibility and active. False. The... Oh god, what am I doing here? 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 I need this whole guy. I have scuffed this so bad. That or it was scuffed before and I've made a mistake. Turbo, air cleaner, then hood, then non turbo panels can be false. Turbo, turbo, air cleaner. Let's do like this. Basically, I'm going to have to have all these be options as well. 
so. Just working it out, guys. I'm just working it all out here. Copy. Air cleaner. Air cleaner. Non turbo panels. So I can get rid of this one here. So on the Kinsey, it does not have panels. So do that. Okay. I may have to do a complete reload of the mod. It's being kind of weird. Hmm. So if I change hood, hood, 50, 20 hood. So I need this guy. Copy. This is a lot here. The This to be true. And then false save here. Okay, the hood didn't disappear there, so I just need something to start showing up here on the AV71, and nothing is showing up, like not even the main body components. And that's so weird. It's like it's Bad, bad. Wait, what? Two O. Oh. No, sir. Um. You don't get to do that. You are a stack. No, sir. Uh, you are two O. I bet you I fixed it now. So if we go here, copy, and I change this to stack, and we hit a save. Bink, bink. Hey, there we go. It, it was the main. It was the main deal. <laughs> it was the main one. Is the bad thing. So it it works now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that works. Hey, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So it was the main stack turning off everything. Okay. I was like, why is it not showing anything at all? <laughs> it's so dumb. So if I change, if I just do this, and we go under hood, hit V. Now it shouldn't show up. Uh, it shouldn't show up there either. Or make a liar out of me. Is Billy an active? True. False. There we go. Because the stack stays on these guys. There we go. Okay. Well, the tractor is uh, actually it's not that big. Um, let me go back here. Uh, do I have it here? No, no, I don't. Um, so somebody said that I had overscaled it, and I hate to tell them that they're wrong. Because here's just a little 6M. 6Ms are not big tractors. I can't even hook up to that. I've broken that too. Yay! 
Get out of the way. See? It's not that big. It just, it looks big when it's all by itself. She's not, uh, she's not chunky. Okay. So we can keep working on this. So now we have everything else. If I'm remembering correctly, the way I did this was I went like this. AV71. So, we do fifty twenty eight V seventy one, and that is two O four O. Okay, I want to thank that I hid the engine just like this because each one of these is independent okay and the reason for that is when you do the turbo one I need to turn off the hood and the Donaldson okay so now we look No, somebody's yelling at me. I'll be right back. My brother is um, just out there yelling. <laughs> I thought he was yelling at me, and he was yelling Helen. Okay. Um, do, do, do. <sighs> yeah, I probably should have. Uh... Yeah, I probably should have done. This would probably have been faster <laughs> doing it the other way. <laughs> just deleting everything and, and redoing it. Okay. So, but we're getting it done. These are things, like everybody's like, oh, modding's hard. It's not hard. It's just, it takes time. And it's little things like this that will drive you insane. Like this is, this is enough to make me scream. Mainly because I like to uh, keep everything a little, like a little neat. So, if we do, oh, no, just, just, just work. Todd Howard me here. Come on. So now I can do hood. Hood should be one. Yeah. One and then two. Yeah, if I would have done this earlier... Like, future me, if past me had known what current me does, then I would be so much farther ahead. It's actually ridiculous how much I have learned from doing this. It's, is that the spell right? In Excels. Yes. It's ridiculous what I have learned while doing this. Like, it's... 
Visibility and act of truth. I don't know what this part is. 2163. I have no idea what this would have been and why it would have been on the bottom of the stack. I haven't added anything like this. So, we're doing this. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Copy. Copy. Yeah, and I'm just going to do the Dawson. I want this to work now. I want to play with it. I know that's what everybody's here for. They're they're here for the the big chungus is um it's the only reason people are hanging out right now. They want to see me drive that around for a bit. I do too. Actually, I do too. Okay. So I do this. Copy here. And we do this. Hood. And then the Donaldson. Honestly, you don't have to add these lines. Like, I can... If I change this to visibly and active false, I don't have to have those lines. And I'm just kind of messing around at this point. That way you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So... Here, here. V. Go to here. And delete. All right. So let's run down through this. In our basic configuration, we want the engine and the badge. Everything else here should be well. We want the air cleaner. We want the non turbo panels. Okay, good. And the hood. Okay, stack. Good. The rest should be false. So we don't want this. So we want that to be a false. False. You want this to be true. Okay. False, false, true, true. Okay. On the 8.7 turbo, we want the engine. We want the badge. We want the turbo manifold, the turbo itself, the air cleaner, the non-turbo panels, the 5020 hood, and the stack. We don't want you. We don't want you. And we don't want you to be there. Okay. On the 8V71 Kinsey, we do not want the engine, the badge, the turbo manifold, the turbo, the air cleaner, because we have the Donaldson. We don't want the turbo panels. We don't want the 5020 hood. We want the 8V71. We want the Ford exhaust. We want the 8v71 hood. We want the Donaldson. We want the 87 particles to be off here. We want them to be true here. Yep. And we want the stack to be false. I need to put stack. So I do X. The stack needs to go before the AV71. So hood here, V, stack, false, true, save. Does it work? I'm gonna reload all the store items just to be sure. Come on, baby. Yahtzee. Okay. Let's just throw everything at it. Let's just be large. Let's be big. Oh, wait, no. The exhaust. Okay, so the stack's here. Why is the stack here? Is 
stack true or false? Is it stack true or false? Why is the stack there? What? 206. Why is the stack here? Huh? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Wait. Why won't it go away? Hood, stack, and save. Sir, 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 please. This is this is a McDonald's. Why? What? <laughs> air filter, air cleaner, right here. Visibly inactive. Visibly active, true. Visibility inactive, false. Stack, true, visibility active, false. Stack, true, false. Stack, true. No, no, that's right. What? Let me change this to false. A thought stack to okay. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Why was it... How did I do that? I fat-fingered that bigger than anything. Stack. Okay, it'll work now, right? Dink. Yahtzee. I don't know why it was like that. Okay. Let's throw some big ones on it. Prices are not final, by the way. Oh, she big. Oh, she, oh, Lord, he coming. Okay, she's too light up front. Okay, good. We can still lock up the front wheels. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That, that's a chunky boy. That is a chunky, chunky boy. So, what's next on the agenda of things to, to make work? Um, we're going to do something I've never seen done before. So, we need to do, well, we need to do a couple things here first. Um, this is good. We need to go into engines, and I want to change the... 
go away. Where is... Ow. Usage 36. I don't know if I can change the consumer per. I don't believe that that's a thing. Can I do that? Do, 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 do. Wait, where's my transmission specs? Oh, right here. Can you change a power consumer? Yeah, I think I think you can do that. It's a consumer. Uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. I'll do some reading on that to way make sure I got it the right way around. Um, okay, so we're 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 done with motors. I'm done with motors. Um, suspension, the seat. Uh, those that didn't know, I got the seat to bounce, so that works. Um, attacher joints, all that works. I want the front end to be changeable. So. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this. Um, I'm going to open up a different file. So we're going to go to... Open a new window, desktop. We're going to go to placeholder mods, the TLX, 9, that, not that one. The TLX 9000. And we're going to take a look at... Um, at what Daniel's got or David's got going on here. So he has this setup. Okay. So design configuration two. So it needs to be design two configurations is what we need to do. So we're gonna copy the entire thing. We're gonna come down here. V and we're going to add a 2. And what I want to do, does it need to be, yeah, okay, it needs to be closed out with a 2, too. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to be front axle. This one's going to be, this one's going to be weird. So, what needs to happen is I have two different front ends on this tractor. Okay? We have the standard one and then we have a row crop one. And I've never seen somebody do it to where they change the heights and everything. Oh, does it really need to be both two? Design two configuration. Design to configurations. Design to configuration. Configurations to. Okay, I get you. Thank you for. Thank you for that. Thank you for the, the catch up there. Okay. So now I have to do. I have to do what uh, David's done here as well. Um, adding in the like the dollar sign one ten in like all that fun stuff for languages but what we're going to do is we're only going to have two options so we can get rid of this third one and we're going to have standard axle and then we're going to have row Crop axle. Okay. Now we're not going to do a mass change or anything like that. We're going to be changing all the fun parts. 
Okay. So I have these on the Wheatland Axle. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, no, no, no. Wheatland Axle. Okay. The Wheatland Axle can be the entire thing. So. Do I leave these as loose parts? Mm. Okay. Let's just let's just get it in here. Let's just get it in here. So the Wheatland front axle is one greater than zero. So let's go ahead and start our I3D. This one's gonna be rough, guys. This one's going to be rough, for sure. But if I can do this, then this opens up a, a world of possibilities. So, the Wheatland front axle is 1 greater than 0. Okay. So, I, want, uh, I don't want this guy standard. So we're going to change object 1 v visibility active true visibility and active false. And we're not going to do any kind of mass changes, so we don't need that line. And we're going to do false and then true. And then we're going to have to do a change position is what I'm thinking. So let's get our second one here. And I'll fix the uh, I'll fix the spacing and stuff here in just a minute. And then we're going to go to 50, 20 row crop. And this is going to be one greater than th three. So false, true, then needs to be true, then false. Now I need to do this in a way that makes sense. So if I go here, I don't think a GSV will reset the store. Let's go ahead and reload all the store items too. Um, I don't think that works to get a store listing. Oh, no, no, it does. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. This might be possible. <laughs> this might be possible, guys. First section is good. Oh. Uh, uh, I have too many tractors. <laughs> and it's going to be mad because I'm going to try to sell these. Yeah, it's already broke. Oh, no. Yeah, I've, I've, I've bricked the game. I've broken it. Ooh, that's big yikes. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, I've made it mad. Okay, uh, that's gonna be an all F four for sure. Uh, okay. Don't know what made it mad, other than me trying to sell things. I have too much stuff going on now. Oh no. Oh no. That's why the 
to implement multiple axles is to make them wheel configs. Well, no, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be defining anything. I'm just gonna do uh, what I'm, what I'm hoping works is I just want to move nodes. That's all. Um, so we're doing an object change, and we're we're exchanging one for another, right? So we're exchanging the front axle for the different front axle. I need to get rid of some of these tractors. Um, please let me sell tractors. Thank you. Um, basically all I want to do is bring in the new front axle and then lower the node and expand the node. Like I don't want four, I, I don't want any more than the hundred or so wheel configs I have right now. <laughs> basically, I don't want to, I don't want to have to double everything up. Does that make sense? Translation and nil value. I don't know what that is. Error running Lua. Same time, if you're trying to move the wheel node, it's under the first axle. It's still the first axle. If you're trying to move the wheel node, it's under the first axle. Hmm. I don't. I, hmm. I don't have like a good one to copy though. Is the thing like everybody just keeps the nodes in the same space? Like I get what you're saying, but I don't. I think that that would be bloating out the XML. Possibly. Let me let me try it this way first. Although, does it have to be nested? Hold on. So, we have a wheel config. And we have, like it's calling up each one of these, which is fine. And it's going to call 1 over 1. So 1 over 1 is the wheel hub. Can I do... Yeah, because the steering ref is inside of there. I was going to nest... Like, I was going to do this. So if I do... Uh, I hope this works. Where did that go? Okay, that's all the way over there. Uh, so we do zero, zero, zero. So we do that, right? Let's just. Hold on just a second. Things are. I hate phones. Phones are horrible. Unless two axles rotate. Right, the axles are going to rotate off the same node. Like, it's it's nested inside of the node. I, th I think I understand what you're saying, but I'm not, like, 110%. You know what I'm saying?
Leave me alone. Not you. Not you. Phone things. Phone things. Yeah, it's too much to scroll through. No, come here. Uh, wheels. There we go. I mean, now you got me rethinking my entire plan here. <laughs> oh no. That's something I'll have to do some researching on. So we have two axles and four items. That should be fine. Does it have the pieces? Yes, okay. The main reason I want to do this is so I could make sure that it's spreadable. Because they're on two different axes. Right? Like they're not on the same plane. Uh, no, that, that makes what you're saying even more important. Oh boy. This is going to get good. This is going to get... Uh, this is going to get real good. Oh man, did I just rename my thing? This is the quality content everybody comes here for. Well, I guess we're going to find out because I need it to do both or the tractor will never be correct. <laughs> and I spent way too many hours making all this stuff so it needs to work. Like, I know enough to get by, okay? Like, you know, if if I'm... Like, if you guys ever think that I'm, like, some kind of authority on this stuff, no, 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 not me. Not me even a little bit. Um... All I want to do, like the steering ref needs to be the same. The axle ref is the same, I think. Wheel. Yeah, the axle ref is the same. The steering ref is the same. So we're going to be changing the wheel heights and width, I think. So, so wheel node left, wheel node right. Okay, so now we have all our items here. So let's run down through it. So it's one greater than one. Then I'm going to say it's probably like one greater than two. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Okay. So. And then one greater than one three is the greater than one three. Row crop hub right. One greater than two. Two. That doesn't look right. Two. Two. Is that right? One greater than one, three. Yeah. One greater than one, three. One greater than one, three. One greater than two, two. Okay. Uh, wheel left. And wheel right. One O and two O. One O and two O. One. 
wait, what? One, two, oh, one, 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 oh, two, oh, okay. There are items. Now we now now we suffer through pain. Okay. So if we do copy this guy, we're gonna just do this. Two items there. Yep. Then two items there. Right? The hub. The hub changes. Uh, okay. So we have the wheel in front axle and the wheel left hub. Wheel hub left. So copy this. Okay. So wheel hub left V. And then we have wheel hub right. All right. Okay, so those are our standard things. So these are going to be true, and then false, true, and then false. Okay. Now, the the row crop front axle is false as it's hidden. And then two items there. So these are going to be the row crop hubs. V. Oh, damn it. Go. So hub left and right. Okay. False, 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 true, true. Good, good, good. Now, if I take let's just copy this. Put that here. Now we're gonna change this to false. 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 If I could spell, that'd be great. True. 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 And true again. True again. What I'm hoping here is that this does not hide the the node like inside of itself it shouldn't hide it inside of itself I don't think okay that's saved this is saved everything's saved am I still getting a Lua? I don't think I am. Okay. Okay, we have items. We have items with no tires. But it still works. <laughs> okay. Can I still do this? Okay, that works. So we get the we get the motion. We get the motion in the ocean. Um Okay. 
So, let's 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 take a gander here. It's my time slot. Yes. So, I need. Okay. What if I do? I'm trying to think here. What's going to be the best? Um, because I don't want to hide a bunch of stuff. Steering ref. Wheels. Okay, so that does that. One one drives it. Where is my steering ref going? No oh, no 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 no. Reference point. Moving part. Reference frame is zero. Okay, that's fine. Moving part one to one is the other one. One to one. Okay, is the part that moves. Okay, that's fine. All that should be hunky dory. If I do this. Uh, let's do create transform group, create transform group. Uh, so we're going to do hub left and then hub right. And we're going to put these. underneath of the wheel and axle. Okay. So, each one of these should be its own thing. Okay. Yeah. You just want skittles, right? Yeah. Okay. Nothing else? Nothing else. Unless you're, are, are we good? Hey. Morgan. Hold on. Morgan. Are we getting drinks now or no? Um, I'm just in your own mind. I'm not making my drinks now. Okay. Do you mind getting me a pop? This is Pepsi? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get this figured out faster than what I thought. So we're gonna do, we're gonna copy everything from the hub left. And we're gonna copy everything from the hub right. And we're not gonna hide, we're not gonna hide the items, right? So we're gonna go from here to here. Oh man, I hope I don't. I mean, I, I can figure it back out. It ain't a big deal. Um, here to here. Okay. So, we're no longer... Do I have left? Let's do this. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Physics drive node. Singles three. Why is that there? Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Um, find next. Find next. 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 Front. Next. Front. Left. Oh, I already have wheels. Okay. So I don't need. 
I don't need these two lines. So we can delete those. Save this again. I can do wheel front left. Wait, no, I did that wrong. Stop changing my stuff. Okay. So, hub left is the actual hub. Wheel hub left is now a one greater than one zero. It expanded everything. Wheel hub left. So I don't need wheel nodes. I need the hubs. The hubs greater than one greater than one zero. Greater than one zero. Okay. So the only things that we're changing right now are the hub left, the hub right, with row crop left and row crop right. And those should be one greater than four and one to two. One greater than four, one greater than two. Four, four and th three, right? Yeah. Okay, save here. Save here. So, we're telling the game that in this instance, our hub right and hub left are exactly the same. The only thing that we're changing is the position of certain things. Okay, this is going to get weird real quick. Okay. Okay, progress. Progress. We have progress. It's not the right kind of progress, but it is progress. So, I need I need Okay, wheel left. I need a cube. Um, create primitive cube. My boy, come here, boy. Uh, 0 0 0.025, 0 0.025, 0 0.025. Okay, perfect cube. And we're gonna take you, and we're gonna throw you on the ax, on the actual wheel, V. Then we're going to move the wheel so I can have a reference point of where my boy is. And I just want to copy 07, 013, 0, 1, 3. That's not right. 0. 0.13. 0. 0.13. Okay. And 0, 035. Wow, I was like pretty close. Yay. Okay. So that's the hub. Let's put the wheel out here, down a little bit, and save. Make sure that you move that instead of that. All right. It's there. It is there. Like, it is... It's physically there.
<laughs> yes. I know I know this seems like so wrong. But because they're there, that's that's extremely good. <sighs> you guys have no idea. Um Okay. I just need one to work, and then I can make both of them work. So What are we hiding here? One and one. Hopefully I'm not hiding the wheel. I'm probably hiding the wheel because we've changed some stuff around. One, two, one. Wheel left, wheel right. One, two, one, right? And wheel left is one, one, one. One. Save. Save. Oh. Oh. Um. That's cursed. <laughs> oh, it still it shows up on the axle though. Yay! Okay. All right. All right. All right. We are making progress. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. We <laughs> wheels. What is our driving factor? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promise. I'm, I'm sorry. The drive node is the wheel front left. But what it's going to be is... Is it one one? Yeah, okay. Why is one one all the way over there? Oh, wait, no, my scale... What? Okay, some stuff was scaled. What was scaled? Nothing scaled. Okay. Okay. So I need to move this entire thing out this way. So we need I need my cube. My cube boy. And we just do him there. There we go. Okay, this is my boy right here. I think if I move these to zero, zero, zero. Let's go down, back, and forward with you. This is going to take a little bit of figuring here, guys. Okay, the wheel can be... I need my, I need my cube. X. We left. V. Make sure my cube's right. So we go zero, zero, zero. Okay. Now one of these things has a scale, and I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Something scaled. Yeah, yeah, something something is weird. Um, let's try this. Okay. I don't <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there is a scale in my XML. Not right there. Shouldn't be. No, it's only got the offset. So the drive node is the wheel front left. Does wheel front left and then one one. 
Yeah, that's right. So if... Wait. That's, that's cursed. That is cursed, if I've ever seen it. Hey, LC, what's going on, bud? Yeah, this is just... This is just cursed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Look! Look! It's there. Okay, it's there. Um... That's completely in the wrong spot. But that tire is there. Okay. Is there a scale active part? No, there's only translation. And that's only on the... I mean, it's there. Scale, 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 scale. No, I don't have a scale. Um, let me check wide front threes. Scales. Scale, 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 scale. Offset. Offset. Yeah, it's just offset stuff for the center wheels and stuff. Everything else is fine. Okay. Alright, let's... I'm just... Don't crash on me. Don't do it. Let me save this. So, let's do zero, zero, zero. And we can try to position this guy right where we need him. Control F scale active. Okay. Control F scale. Scale. Active. Yeah, nothing's there. So I I think it's something to do with that side. I'm not worried about the right side right now. I think it's just a I'm working on the left side. Um okay. Does this does this turn? Okay, it turns. It turns. It turns. We're on to something, boys. Okay. I think what it is, is the wheels calling something else. So, I just need to change a couple other things. Okay. Uh... We hop right. Hop right. Okay, I want this to be the same. So it needs to be negative point eight five one. Negative point eight five one. Okay. Then wheel hub left, 139, 153, 49. Was that right? Wheel hub, wheel hub. Negative, negative, negative 139, negative 153, 049. Okay, that's way off. Now, why is that way off? Translate Y, translate Z. No, that's fine there. Lean on the axle. Translate Y, that's fine there. We hub left. Hub left. Negative, or it's 851. 851. Hub right. Negative 851. Okay. I'm fine with that. So why is... That's there. That's there. Yeah, okay, that's right. 
So y is wheel hub left, 139, 139, 153. Why is this so different? I, eh. There. It needs to be positive because it's on the other side. Thanks, Derry, man. We'll talk to you later, bud. Uh, check back. This might work. I'm glad that you're enjoying the survival series, man. Okay, so that's that. Um, wheel left is there. So I want this to actually be somewhere else. Why is that scaling that wheel? So weird. So, so weird. Is it cube? Surely it's not cube. Huh? You need to be zero. Wheel left. Needs to be zero, zero, zero. Wheel right. Needs to be zero, zero, zero. Yeah, you're you're a little bit behind. Things change, um, <laughs> like a lot. They a lot of things uh, are going to end up changing, which is always fine. I wonder if cube is it cube? Is cube changing my thing here? So let's save there. Okay, something is something is happening here. Wheel right. One, two, one. Wheel right. Front wheel right. God damn it. Go away. Front wheel right. Wheel front right. One, two, one. Wheel front right. One, two, one. Okay, that's the same. What happens if I go into the store? Okay, I just don't have a... I just don't have a wheel and tire. <laughs> okay. Let's go. So we go here. And I go 265 by 0.73. Point seven three. Uh, wait, what? Two sixty five. Point seven three. What? No. Come on, now, Alex. Point seven three on the first one. This is getting confusing. Save again. Go back to here. And the wheel's back. Why is the wheel back? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. 265, not 295? I thought I typed in. There we go. Chat O for the rescue. Steering arm. It's fine. Rear crop up right. Oh nine. Two 
233 negative. So this is the fun part. This is the learning part. 005 negative. So those should be the same. I'm not sure why that tire is doing that. It's really odd. What am I missing here? That tire should not be doing that. Like all the references and everything are working. But that tire's like, nah fam. So what, what is going on with the tire? Basically, if I go into, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me do this. I bet you I have to restart. It's like reading something weird. Yeah, it's being weird. Um, let's go to save. Uh, no, I haven't changed anything with the tires. I've been getting some some fun things from them, but I haven't changed anything with the tire. Not that I know of. It's just weird that that, um, that node is stretched like it is. I think it's because I haven't reloaded. And it's just being a, a complete nabo, because sometimes that it'll it'll do weird things like that. Oh, okay, it got worse. Is this okay? It doesn't have any collision, which is good. Axle ref is fine. Axle ref. Axle ref. Can I do like a, a, a three? How about a four? There we go. All right. So we're just working on the stock three. I all right. Okay. So the R R E P R is normally the reference. So. The wheel front left. Translation. I'm going to go ahead and change this all to zero. Just to... Just to make sure. Yes, I am the creator of this mod. Okay. So let's get in this guy. All right, that brought the axle back in line with where it should be on the other one. So it's just this right tire. So what are we missing here? OD. Hmm. We all right. Is this rendered invisible? No. No. Visibility's fine. 
All this is fine. Scale is 1111. Clip distance is 100. LOD, no rigid body. Okay. So hub left, hub right. 1111. Hub right, wheel right. 111. Why is it? being a dongo. Zero, 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 zero. Let's just, let's just try this. I think it's... Something's weird here. Lots of missing objects. I'm not worried about that. Motor active. That's fine. Okay. Offers four objects, but only two have been loaded. Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's normal. Lua is fine. Wiper is fine. Failed. Modding is addicting once you get into it. Like, it's a different kind of thing. Okay, none of these are the failures I'm looking for. I'm really looking for something else. Okay, no. There's no failure there. Okay, let's look at the tire one more time. So, wide front three... Radius is 0.55, width, yep, node right, wheels, rims, yep, that's right, okay, let's go back into here, wheels, rims, let me make sure I don't have something funky in here, I don't think that I do, it's never been an issue before. So that's loading O and O1. O. O. Scale. Scale's fine. Scale. Scale's fine. Okay. All this is fine. So we can save that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Physics. Tire. Rim, O O. Rim, outer rim. Okay, rim four, four and one, four, four and one. Yeah, that's right. All right, buddy. Thank you for stopping by. Scale's fine. Everything is fine. Why is this being stupid? Yes. Okay, I'm missing something extremely easy. Single, three rib, lizard. Lizard default. R, E, P, R. One over one and one over two. One over one, one over two. A51. What am I missing here, guys? What am I missing here? Fall loss fails, open up another mod, and make sure you guys are doing it right. Edit camera. Alright. So. Wheel front left. Axis front left. Okay. 
because this has moving suspension yeah okay front parts front left right steering bar that thing hub that then the whole kit and caboodle Okay, so it is one one, one one. So if we go into what David has listed, and we go into wheels, axis front left. Is oh, one greater than zero. Axis front left is one greater than zero. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. I think it needs to be Wheatland Wheatland front left front right parts Oh man. Um I don't know why the tire is doing this. It's something stupid. Uh yes, hopefully the 5020 will be for all platforms if I can get it figured out. I want to do this I want to do this front axle swap, but I don't know if I can. Ref, ref. Wheel front right. So it has to be in the part. So it has to be in the part. In the part. Is that right? Okay, no, it can't be right because it works. Like the hubs work. So why is. I don't know why that tire is doing that. It doesn't make any sense. Because everything is in the front hub. Yeah, everything's in the front hub. What is going on here? like in the way wrong place but whatever okay does it do it on the other one so I definitely need to go down and out Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Hold on. If... 
My tire. This looks ridiculous. Okay. Something seems to be amiss here. It's not driving the hub. <sighs> Rest load. Drive node is supposed to be the front wheel. Okay. So wheel left is one greater than one, one. One greater than one, one is wheel left. Wheel one greater than one, one. Okay, no, that's right. So, why is the tire behind and down? So let's just bring this forward. Still behind. What is going on here? What is going on? Is it because... I don't think... I don't think it'll let me do this. Okay, okay, let's go. What is going on here? I wish I could see without that tire. Thanks. Okay, no, the tire's turning. Okay, so what the f... Ugh! Does it need to be... I don't know what's going on here. And it's starting to make me a little upset. Oh, oh, oh. No, like this thing's nested. What? Wheel no. no. front left. Yeah, axis front left. Axis front left was the other part, right? This is ridiculous. <sighs> Make a to you. Axis front left. Don't tell me it's got to be the whole stack. No, it shouldn't have to be. So, okay. It should be calling one greater than zero is what mine should read. One greater than one. Why is mine calling one greater than one? Move down and move down. So, one greater than zero, one greater than one. One greater than zero, one greater than one, then the front left wheel, wheel left, one greater than zero one so wheel left
wheel left, wheel right. Hub. Okay, so we don't want anything inside the wheel because that's going to turn it because it's a wheel uh, thing. So it should be one, one greater than zero, zero is what ours should be. So greater than one, zero. Okay, so wheel left now should be one greater than. One greater than zero, zero. Zero, zero. And then up right should be one greater than one, zero. One greater than one, zero. Okay. Our other parts. So, wait. We'll have left. Um, let's do Wheatland and I'm, I think I'm getting things confused okay so the Wheatland hubs should be one greater than zero one one greater than zero One Wheatland Hub, right? One greater than one, one. One greater than one, one. Row crop hub left, one greater than zero, four, one greater than one, three. One greater than zero four one. Save that. Save this. GS one two three. Oh, what the f index not found. Wheel hub left. Wheel hub right. Greater than two one six eleven. Two one six eleven. What? Okay, I'm not worried about the other thing. Why you know what? No, what? Copy. Wheatland. 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 Standard. And this one. Hold on. We all have left. Uh, shit. I'm getting I'm getting agitated now. Copy. Wheatland. We have left. Now I need the Wheatland right. Getting agitated. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. What if I go reset you? Okay, it kind of works. Progress. No big, no big wheel. Okay. Now I need the Wheatland front axle. Is one greater than two? Wheatland. 
front axle. One greater than two. One greater than three. Save. And save. Okay. My hubs. R-E-P-R. R-E-P-R. So, it's going to report. Guys, I need help. <laughs> what? Is left true? Is left false? Okay. Drive node. Front left. But it's driving. Fuck. It's it's driving the this node to turn. Is what that's doing. So we have the wheel. Then we have the models of the hubs. Then we have the axle ref. Axle ref. What the hell? I don't know what axle ref is. Steering ref. Axle ref. I don't understand this axle ref node. Okay, like, I'm getting close. It's just... Something in my brain is not firing here. Okay, so we have wheels. <laughs> and these turn is the bad thing. These work. The new ones work and the old ones don't. Let's just let's just try a couple couple other things here. So we're gonna do a um, a translation here off of these guys. So we're gonna copy this here, and we're gonna plonk that down in here. All right. So things we know. <laughs> Things we know. Uh, I want to go down in life. So, translate Y. And we're going to go... Let's just do by point half. Uh, so, we're going to go... Negative 0.5. Negative 0.5. Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know why the wheels don't work, but okay.
Like, that kind of works, is the bad thing. Um, let's just go up 0.5 and negative 0.5 again. Half of that. Closer. Getting closer. So we have the wheels in the in the right quote unquote spot. Okay. But why don't they have um why don't they have physics? Let's do a reload of the game. Like things are happening. <laughs> things are things are going. It's just not the the way that I thought that they would go. What I'm really weirded out about is the um like why why do the new hubs work but the old hubs don't? I think I might have like the um Okay, yeah, they're still in the ground. Why are you in the ground? Why are you in the ground? Alright. Let's take a gander here. Nothing there. Okay. If if I huh what uh, I don't know if I want to do that I'm just gonna try this I'm just gonna do this let's do a uh, we're just gonna delete that that whole line there. So why... Okay, the wheels are up there. Which is fine. Oh, he was right. I gotta just do it the other... Oh, I don't wanna do it the hard way. Oh. I don't wanna do it the hard way. It's gonna suck so much. God, it's gonna suck. I don't know why I won't just press the f stupid thing down. Like, okay, so we've... The driving node is that guy. But reports back to 1-0. Okay, so 1... Okay, what happens if I just do this? I'm, okay, we're, we're just going to do a little experiment here. We're just going to push this guy down. We'll bring him back up to zero here in a second. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um. So, all I need to do then... Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it.
I need to do the entire hub. Okay. So, gonna do a copy. V. V. And we're just gonna do hub left. Hub right. Okay. So, hear me out. We need to change where things are driven from. So, I need to change wheel front. It's not that I changed these. It's it's the hub left and the hub right get changed. Okay. Progress. Okay. So, which axle are we on? Okay, we're on this axle. Okay, that works. F. Let me make sure this is nowhere else in this. Okay. Let's just do... Let's just do a big number here. Okay, that did not change that. Why... Why did that not change that? Why did that not change that? It's active though. Whoa, where am I going? I think we're, I think we're on to something, but I don't know. I don't know if it's right or not. Okay, let's do Let's just copy this again. Copy the save save. But hub left changes everything. Axel ref does nothing. Wheel left. Let me try actively just changing that. No, okay, that does nothing. All right. But if I change the entire hub, right? Yeah, it changes. Okay, so what what is the change? So if I change this down to negative 385. Okay. That puts the tire basically where it needs to be. So Zero, zero, zero 
is where it starts out at. Translate X is 851. X 851. And then we're going to do 75 here. Ooh. Okay, nothing changed, nothing changed. Keep it cool, keep it cool. The axle moved out? Okay, why is that not forcing Let's just try whole numbers here. Okay, so that's not changing that location here. Why? It's because, okay, I think, I think it's because uh, I don't know how to explain this. I'm just going to see if it works. Okay, so it won't change. The axle ref, axle ref. Okay, what happens if I move this down? Just all by its lonesome. I didn't say that. Okay, what the f Okay, so what makes it Yeah. Yeah, you guys ready? Okay. Something's weird here. Wheel front right. Hub left. Oh, guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. There's 
Serum Ash for component one, two. Values, doing physics. Oh no. Why? Why won't you just do that? <laughs> it should just do that. Um. Okay. Let me think about this. So. We've changed the wheel on the left. Zero, zero. Safe. Okay. So that lines up directly with whatever this box is. I don't understand what this box is, but there's a box. So, on the hub, if I move, uh oh, if I move hub left 0.5, and I move it negative 0.5, and then I move the front wheel hub 0.5, and then negative 0.5 what happens okay that puts that down there okay what if I move this one 0.5 negative 0.5 0 okay give me just a second No, that didn't work either. Okay, I'm at loss for words, so that's where I'm going to have to end it. We're going to the movies. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!